One of the greatest issues we face in education is the diversity of student achievement. And one of the greatest challenges is identifying and then closing those learning gaps. As teachers, we are continually assessing where students are at and providing them with the right amount and type of instruction they need. In Grade 1, one of the strategies we use to close gaps is clustering and regrouping of students. One example of this is our literacy groups for writing. Some students may need more instruction on one area of writing, such as representing all the sounds in a word. Others may need more guidance on using capitals and periods, while still others have mastered some of those areas and are now needing instruction on how to add detail into their writing and elaborate on their ideas. At this early age, we use mostly teacher-generated assessments, but as students mature and grow through the year, they begin to self-assess themselves against exemplars and data trackers, preparing them for grade two. In grade two, we have goal setting, and so we meet with the parents and the students, and we talk together about what are the things that they are doing well at in their individual strengths, and then we also identify areas that they want to work towards. We actually put the goals right on their desks so that the students have access to what their goals are. We use the goal setting as a springboard for us to help individualize a plan for each of the students to master those goals. We transition from that into where we do give them more opportunity for them to track their own learning. They have their own data trackers. The data trackers help students see what they know and see what they don't know. And it's a really safe environment and actually empowering for them. The amazing thing about this process is that the students are almost always right on track with what I would have said with them. And so they know themselves and they know what they need to be working towards and that's pretty powerful. In grade four, we are seeing the students take a bit more ownership in their own learning. So we have a process that we call a SMWIC and a CWIC. So a SMWIC stands for show me what you know. We use that at the beginning of a unit so that we can determine as teachers what the gaps are and how we can fill them through our instruction. At the end of the unit, the students do something called a CWIC, which stands for show you what you know. The students are then able to identify their own gaps in their learning. Because they're growing in their understanding of their own learning, we have the ability to give them more choice in how they learn. And once they've done the CWIC, then they fill in a learning map which shows them exactly where the gaps are. Then they have some choice in how they're going to fill those gaps. We know that all the students can master the concepts. It's just that some students are going to need a little bit more time to master them. So by giving them the time they need, we ensure that the mastery is fixed, but the time is flexible. As students move into high school, it's important that they establish a greater level of individualized learning. For a student to be able to identify what they don't know helps them recognize areas of knowledge that they might be lacking. We try to give them tools to assist in this process. One of these tools is a learning map. A learning map shows various outcomes in a subject, and when a student is filling out a learning map, they're actually tracking along with their learning and able to identify gaps that they need to fill. By filling these gaps, they're showing a greater level of mastery. And to demonstrate that mastery, they can then take that knowledge that they have learned and teach it to another student, a type of peer mentorship. It helps them achieve mastery and help other students progress to mastery as well. So we see it from kindergarten all the way until they graduate from high school. The growing strength of a student to be able to recognize their gaps in knowledge and track along with their learning so that when they graduate, they're able to identify their personal needs and prepare themselves for the future.